Hey, it's Jason from East Coast Upcyclers. We recently posted a picture from the Raw Food family. It was their 10 pane door that they had turned into a picture frame holder and a coat rack. And we got a really good response on our Facebook page from it. So I figured we better get a little deeper into this project. So uh, first of all, you're gonna see six doors behind me and one laying on this table. And uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, that took me about three months to accumulate. These doors are hard to find. And uh, when you find one, I suggest you buy it right away, no matter what the price is. And uh, so next, uh, we're gonna get a little deeper into this project here. All right, so for starters, these doors are extremely heavy. If you don't want a heavy door on your wall, this is not the project for you. As far as size goes, there really is no standard size with these doors. The one I have is 24 by 80, uh, but it's really the, the, the luck of the draw. Um, and I, I actually wanna show you something here with the hardware. I would encourage you to leave all the existing hardware on there. The reason is because if you have the existing hardware on, here, here's your ticket to hanging it up on the wall right there. Literally just screw that right into the joist. And then also if you look around, there's a lot of good character here. Like look at this thing. I have no clue where the, what age this, this uh, lock is, but it, it's pretty cool. As far as the doorknobs go, um, obviously you don't want a doorknob jamming into your wall. So you're going to have to take half of it off. Once you do that, a real easy way to get, get it back on there to literally just take a two inch hole saw, take it into another piece of wood. You're going to get this nice little circular thing to pop out and uh, literally just stick that right back in there, glue it up, let it sit for a little while. And then you can come right back through and screw your doorknob in. All right. So once you have the structure in place, the next thing you're going to have to look at is the, uh, the pictures themselves. So these that I have here, the, the glass panes are roughly six and a half by 12 inches. So uh, the easiest thing to do here is you could take your standard eight by 10 picture. Yeah, you could trim it up a little bit and actually use a mat behind there. Or if you want to do some type of collage or something, you could do three by fives and put mats behind it. The, the opportunities are really endless with this one. All right, so now on to the hardware. I encourage you not to run out to your local big box store and buy the first code hook that you can find. Instead, get a little creative, find stuff around your house. Like for example, uh, an old spoon, you could easily bend that up and use that as a code hook. Or uh, maybe some old doorknobs, check this one out. It's got a lot of great character to it. Um, how about an old screwdriver or a can opener? They both have a lot of history and character in them. Or maybe uh, some old hardware from a cabinet. Um, you could even use a shower curtain hook. Um, but I'll tell you what, uh, this is actually something I had I found on one of my last picking trips at Chartreuse and Frederick. Um, this is an old barn door slide. And uh, if this was cleaned up a little bit, imagine how cool this would look on the bottom of one of these doors. All right, so now that we pitched all these ideas, uh, we got a lot of work to do. And uh, I, I want you to please check out our, our page next week where we're gonna post up a video where we show you exactly how to hang one of these guys on the wall. Uh, but in the meantime, you see I got seven doors back here. I have no plans for these doors. If, if you'd like one, please shoot me a message at www.eastcoastupcyclers.com or check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest.